hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is tanya i am a part-time reseller I sell vintage and a few modern brands on sites like ebay poshmark depop and etsy <laughs> today i had some sales and i thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do a ship with me i've never done a ship with me before so i want to show you what the difference is when i ship a poshmark order versus when i ship an etsy order you'll learn something in the process if you're a new reseller you'll pick up some tips about shipping or even if you don't resell at all you don't have to go to the post office and stand in a long line and deal with grumpy postal workers you can use these tips for personal use not just business or professional use if you're interested in this video go ahead and give me a like and a follow i would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel i'm doing videos two times a week this month mondays and wednesdays if you're interested just keep watching this is one of the items that sold today it's a zara and i'm going to insert a half screen of it it's a zara leopard print dress they sold for ten dollars but they sent me an offer so they pay full shipping and i got this at the bin so i probably got this for a dollar so i ship all of my orders on poshmark in poly bag i will just fold them up really nice put them in a poly bag and then put them in my inventory system and then once they sell i just pull the order and then all i do is put a thank you sticker boom that's it that's how i ship i don't write handwritten notes i mean unless it's a bundle or a really big ticket sale item i don't really do thank you notes anymore and what i love about shipping on poshmark is that you can use any usps priority shipping packaging for your orders and these are completely free you can literally just walk into the post office and take a bunch out with you or you can order them online you can go to www.usps.com you do have to create an account but i mean we all have accounts it's easy i would allow them two weeks for shipping sometimes especially during the holiday season they are really backlogged with orders because so many people are shipping packages that sometimes it could take up to three or four weeks for you to receive your packing supplies and this is my favorite envelope to use for my poshmark orders this the tyvek envelope and for poshmark you can only use the priority packaging you can't use the express packaging so we're gonna go ahead and ship this <music> Another supply that I get from the post office are these labels and they are just stickers that say priority shipping and I like to use this on my flaps right here because I feel like they could easily get stuck and like rip open so I just put the sticker here on the side to kind of seal them on the edge. So I just used two of these stickers and this is a 500 piece roll. Actually I think it's a thousand. But yeah, this big roll of stickers, this is free as well. So I use these to like seal packages. Well, just these envelopes like on the edge. So here is my package. I don't have a thermal printer. I just use regular a regular black and white ink printer and I print them on. I print four by six labels on a sheet of paper. So I just fold it up. And I don't do a lot of shipping. I, like today I have three orders and that's a busy day for me. <laughs> so I don't really feel the need. Maybe once I start doing maybe like 30, 40, 50 packages a day, then I might use the adhesive labels and get a thermal printer. So it's like four by six. It's on this side. I just don't want to show you the address. So this is the PS form 2976. I use this for my labels. It's just a little plastic sleeve. You put them in here. I know there is some controversy about these should only be used for custom labels. This is a document holder. This is a document. So I have been doing this for 10 years. I have asked various postal workers if it's okay for me to use them and they've all said yes so i'm going to continue to use this method until i invest in a label printer or until until they send me the cease and desist letter or tell me to stop but i've been doing this for 10 years and i've never had an issue like i don't understand why people make such a big deal about it but 
it's the document holder the label is the document um i've asked postal workers point blank can i use this and they very rudely told me yes that's what it's for i'm like okay well i was just asking so and here is what it looks like so that's my order and ship another one poly mailers these little pineapple poly mailers from you pack and ship and it's called the smile mail package so they're little bundles and they have 100 10 by 13 poly mailers so the bundle includes 100 poly mailers 100 of these poly bags that you can put your products in um 100 of these postcards that just say I hope you love your new purchase just as much as I love bringing it to you with gratitude, your stylist. So they're pre-printed. Um, you can't really, um, you can't really customize the message. So you get 100 postcards, and then you get 300 thank you stickers. So this bundle costs $15.99. I'm gonna leave their link down below if you're interested in purchasing some of these. The main difference between Poshmark shipping and Etsy shipping is that on Poshmark, it's very easy. Poshmark sends you the shipping label. You just print it from either your email or um, an app. Use any USPS packaging or if you want to like have your own custom packaging, you can do that. But Poshmark provides you the shipping label and you have to use their shipping label in order to get paid. On Etsy, I have my shop set up for free shipping and that means that I do my own shipping. I don't use the, I know Etsy provides shipping labels now. I don't purchase um, my labels through Etsy. I purchase them on my own through Pirate Ship. And when I ship, I use First Class Mail. So First Class Mail is the, is the cheapest form of shipping in the US. Well, not the cheapest because there's also media mail and parcel packaging, but that's more if it's a heavier item but for most life weight items you're gonna use first class mail if it's under a pound you're gonna use first class mail you do have to use your own packaging you can't this is so there's priority shipping and there's first class mail priority shipping is supposedly guaranteed two to three business days um i don't think it even takes out i think it takes longer now but First class meal is supposed to be like three to seven business days. On Etsy, I do take a little more time to wrap my items and package them because I don't pre-package like I do Poshmark items. Because Poshmark, most items I get at, thr at the thrift store or I get from the bins, from the Goodwill outlet, they're like very inexpensive items that I just want to quickly flip. They're items that I pick up for a dollar two dollars three dollars and i honestly like you just saw i sold that zara dress for ten dollars and i sold those um victoria's secret shorts for eighteen dollars so they're not very high profitable items they're just items that i want to move my etsy shop is items that i curate a lot more so a lot of them are my vintage pieces so those are a little more delicate and i do um take the time to wrap them more also on poshmark i accept low ballish offers Again, because they're items from the thrift store, items from the bins. Especially in my Etsy shop, they're items that I curate. I am paying up for sometimes. And they do, um, I do price my items to sell, but I'm kind of firm with my prices. Etsy doesn't even allow for offers. Sometimes I do get people in my messages asking for a discount, but I already include free shipping in my item and I price them to sell. Depending on the amount that they're asking, I just politely say, I can't provide a further discount because I already offer free shipping or I do have various discount codes set up. Like I have a 10% discount code that I will sometimes share and like if they really want the item, I can offer them temp an additional 10% off at checkout. 
Today we're gonna ship this vintage Senorita top. This one's from the 90s most likely and I can tell just because the quality of cotton is a lot better. I feel like these are mass produced now and the way you can tell is that the cotton is a lot more sheer and a lot, you could tell it's more of a blend of cotton and polyester but this is straight out canvas cotton so it's definitely an older piece. So this piece I'm gonna fold it up in some butcher paper and honestly I'm thinking of switching all of my packaging to butcher paper um, I just purchased that smile mail package that has a hundred plastic poly bags so I think I'm gonna go through them and once I finish those poly bags from now on I think I'm also going to paper wrap my Poshmark or orders I'm not sure yet I think I want it to be more sustainable to take the extra step of weighing it i have my little handy dandy scale you can get these on ebay on amazon they're like no more than 20 dollars and that weighed i think it was 6.9 ounces so i always round it up to seven ounces and then i will go into pirate ship and down and purchase the label i already purchased the label and i think it was like three dollars and 75 cents so for Etsy labels, I fold them in half and I use another customs form from USPS. This is the PS form 2976E. So I will put my, my shipping label in the little pocket. And if you don't want to use these, you can just tape it, but tape the edges. Do not tape the barcode. So if you don't want to bother using a customs envelope, um again this has the adhesive and you just stick it on your package and there you go that's what it looks like i hope you enjoyed this video i have to run to the post office now and ship my packages two poshmark orders and one etsy order it was a good day and i'm just so excited for these pieces to go to a new home i always feel like i'm rescuing these pieces from the landfill down below if you have any questions thank you guys so much for watching take care and i'll see you next week bye